all right um so uh, hello everyone we are group 23 and we are here to present our interim report for uh, the cl246 heat transfer group project and our topic was thermoacoustic refrigeration vaccines in today's world have become an integral part of our society storage and transportation of vaccines is uh, generally very expensive and inefficient uh, as of now thus our group you know has uh, tried to solve this problem using the thermoacoustic engines uh, next slide thermoacoustic engines basically require minimal or no moving parts they have the ability to you know store the items at temperature as low as minus 170 degrees celsius uh, which is technically impossible to achieve with the conventional methods which we have been using currently this can help uh, efficient and inexpensive transportation of vaccines even to the remote areas of our country also the technological divide has aggravated the situation wherein the remote uh, locals aren't even able to you know uh, store the vaccines in its required condition therefore it becomes uh, really necessary to address this problem next slide thermoacoustic engines are devices you know wherein uh, we use high amplitude uh, sound waves to pump heat from one place to another um, this is the basic thermoacoustic uh, engine consisting of heat exchangers and resonance tube we have an opening at the bottom into a large spherical bulb case which has helium gas at about 3 bars of pressure so um, in this view of the system uh, there are uh, two heat exchangers which are adjacent to each other the left heat exchanger uh, is the hot heat exchanger and the right one is the cold one uh, the temperature of the hot heat exchanger is adjusted in such a manner that the helium gas uh, oscillates at about 580 hertz producing acoustic work now the cold heat exchanger which was initially at 23 degrees celsius cools down to below 0 degrees celsius thus this system works as a refrigeration system with technically no moving parts so our technical problem is stated as follows apply thermoacoustic refrigeration to a system which uses helium gas a resonator and a tube and heat exchangers which can be used to store vaccines the target temperature to be achieved for the cold side is 65 kelvin find the heat and required work flux as well as the efficiency of the system Also, find the temperature of the heat exchangers using the epsilon NP method. So, this is the temperature profile of the fluid across the stack. We see that the temperature oscillates around the mean temperature, and because of the interference of the waves with the stack plates, a temperature difference is created across it. We exploit this temperature difference and extract heat from the system using heat exchangers. So, on the left, we can see the picture of the control volume. which is basically a rectangular plate with fluid around it and we see that due to the formation of the wave there are oscillations in the temperature we can state the temperature as uh, with the following equation which is uh, tm which will it is a t mean temperature plus t1 e to the power i to omega t the exponential part uh, signifies the sinusoidal nature of the temperature and we also see that the uh, temperature uh, is proportional to the pressure amplitude Uh, the proportionality constant is Tm beta by rho m cp. Here beta is the thermal expansion coefficient, rho m is the uh, mean density of the fluid, and cp is the heat capacity of the fluid. So uh, when we solve uh, this general equation of heat transfer, we obtain uh, the uh, the temperature amplitude, which is dependent on the y coordinate uh, as this equation. Here the uh, delta Tm signifies the mean a uh, temperature gradient across the stack which remains constant so um uh these are some of the assumptions that we have considered while carrying our analysis uh some of them include that the fluid has zero viscosity and steady state is assumed uh plate is short and far enough from both the velocity and pressure nodes and the pressure and velocity amplitudes can be considered uniform across over the plate we have neglected the temperature dependence of thermophysical properties of the fluid and the plate and uh, we have considered that uh, the plate is given a mean temperature gradient in x direction which is uh, delta tm and we have considered that the mean temperature 
uh, Tm is independent of y and is same as the tem uh, tem mean temperature of plate and of fluid. And um, we have assumed that the uh, cold heat temperature is at 303 Kelvin and heat is transported through conduction through a copper wire. Across the stack, it is transported through conduction and we have neglected radiation in our analysis. So uh, for the resonator Q from the uh, general heat ex from the general heat equation, we obtained the expression for the oscillating temperature of the fluid, which was uh, shown here, and uh, the heat and work fluxes. The engine works as a refrigerator if tau minus one is less than zero. So for the heat exchanger, we need to supply heat on the cold side of the stack, for which we have the cold heat exchanger. The stack pumps the oscillatory heat flux and then heat is thrown out of the system by the hot heat exchanger. This is uh, shown in this diagram. And the uh, pump function is achieved by providing work, which is uh, in our case through a resonator, which provides acoustic work, acoustic power to the system. And due to this pumping and heat exchanger functioning, the hot side becomes hotter and the cold side becomes colder. The temperature required for hot, hot heat exchanger are estimated considering one shell two tube pass system. We have calculated the time averaged heat and work fluxes and subsequently the length of the copper wire to conduct heat out and into the system through the hot and cold heat exchangers. Next slide. The calculation shown here uh, show that we can keep the water reservoir at around 350 Kelvin from uh, which the cold side take up heat assuming that the target temperature to be 65 Kelvin is achieved from the cold side. The heat flux conducted across the stack plus the heat up is rejected to the hot heat exchanger. The work flux of around uh, 0.32 uh, watt is calculated for an average acoustic cooling rate of 1.67 watt. Thus, from the obtained equation for temperature, heat, and work flux, and analysis of a heat exchanger implementation, we see that with just a single moving part, which is a resonator, we are able to generate a refrigeration till 65 Kelvin. The vaccine, which is supposed to be stored, can be kept in the resonator tube. We have designed a system wherein the vaccine can be stored up to 65 Kelvin as low temperature through the application of thermoacoustic refrigeration combined with heat exchangers. One of the simplification we have considered here is that we have taken a single plate system. Uh, by increasing the number of plates, we can achieve more efficiency in our ref refrigeration. This is this application is not only for uh, vaccine storage, but it can be used for many purposes, for example, chemical gases. The intent was to completely uh, replace the conventional ice box. Thank you.